Kia ora and welcome to a new video from NZ Pocket Guide. Today I'm going to take you to literally the sunniest city in New Zealand, it's Nelson and the nearby Abel Tasman National Park. Here are my absolute favorite things to do there and without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to begin with, I would like to address all the foodies in the crowd. Nelson will dazzle you with over 25 different cellar doors to visit. You can either self-drive and go from winery to winery to taste one of the best, some of the best cepage that New Zealand have to offer, or you can hop on a wine tour if you don't feel like driving and you want to be drinking. Next up, we're going to stick with the foodies activities to do in Nelson and check out the local farmer's market. Pretty much every town and city in New Zealand have amazing farmer's market. But in Nelson, you'll be able to taste amazing wines at the farmer's market, as well as local delicacies like nowhere else. I told you it was sunny. There is also the Montes, farm, the Montes market that you may want to check out for a very different experience. All right, number three on our list, we're going to address the elephant in the room and the Abel Tasman National Park. The Abel Tasman National Park is probably already on your itinerary. There is so many different adventures to be had there, from canyoning, kayaking and hiking. It's definitely worth checking out for one day, two days, three days or even more. Another great thing to do in the Nelson area is to hop over the hill, as the locals say, and head to Takaka and Golden Bay. There you'll be able to see some amazing rocks from rock formations, as well as Feral Spit, which is an icon of New Zealand. Next up, we have the Nelson Lakes National Park. Probably the least famous of all the national parks surrounding Nelson, the Nelson Lakes National Park still deserves a spot on your itinerary. This is where you'll be able to get those fantastic iconic shots of New Zealand with you at the end of a jetty, a lake and a mountain landscape in the background. It's definitely worth checking a day or two, spending a day or two there. Next up on our list, we have something a little cheesy but quite fun to do, and that's visiting the center of New Zealand. Pretty much every country in the world mark in one way or another the geographical center of their country. Well, the geographical center of New Zealand is located in Nelson. It's on top of a hill in the botanical garden. There is a big structure there that you won't be able to miss. So if you want to say that you've been in the exact center of New Zealand and take that token uh, tourist photo, you may want to check it out. All right, next up on our list, we have the Cable Bay Walkway. The Cable Bay Walkway is three hours long and it will offer you some amazing coastal sceneries. It's a relatively easy walkway that you'll be able to tackle even with a family. It's a fantastic way to spend an afternoon. Okay, this wrapped up this video. There is much more for you on nzpocketguide.com, so check it out. And the whole team is joining me in wishing you the best time ever in New Zealand.